are the Dragons, three of Britain's wealthiest and most enterprising business leaders. Over the next 10 weeks, they'll make or break the dreams of dozens of budding entrepreneurs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Today's Dragon's time comes to the crisis. Our first contestant is the Lucky Wiki. came and changed the way we live. Because the fat cats and the welfare have now been forced to give. And there are no more dispossessed out roaming London streets, because London's grown more generous and shares out all its sweets. And those greedy merchant bankers who grabbed a whooping sash wept bitter tears of regret when we taxed all their cash. Then the disenfranchised masses poured out from their sink estates. They stormed Buckingham Palace and ripped down all the gates. Hordes of multiracial kids now play games in the palace, where young Christopher Robin had once gone down with us. Prince Charles and Duchess Camilla now clean the palace looms, though every day they feel sick from the smell of piss and poos. Because when the revolution came, it turned things upside down and put paid to privilege all, o all over London town. So just be proud. So, so just be proud you live here and be prepared to lend a hand because everyone is welcome in our green and pleasant land. Absolute audacity of a young lady of your description managed to even get past security to come in here and slander us on national television. I'm, I'm oh, disgusted. Let's what she wants to I'm do anyway. disgusted don't, 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 by this. Don't take it too personally. Don't take it too personally. Addressed solely at individuals of our description. Oh, I'm, I'm she wants some money then. I'm what's strangely it, what's it about? curious as to know what, what this is about. Yeah. Um, I'd like £30,000, please. Whatever for? For a solar powered guillotine. Have this woman removed by security. I absolutely. Oh, no. We should at least hear what she has to say. I have a morbid curiosity <laughs> to know what this is about. Uh, a guillotine. And who would, who would be for the job? Wealthy, wicked bankers. It's not really what we were expecting, Vicky. Um, no, but it's a good idea. Could you give us a demonstration? Yeah. Okay, we have an example here, and um, the guillotine was simply. Hey. Oh. Well, I think. Uh, Very effective. I've seen enough. I think uh, that guillotine could serve only one purpose, really, in having the heads of people like you cut off. Hot smoking hippies. Yeah, can't agree more. I think you should poodle back to your commune or wherever you crawled out of. It's probably a squatter. And God knows, how would you make money from this venture? Because what profit, what net and gross profit would you make from a guillotine? Uh, we could sell tickets. Tickets? Yes. Big stadium affair. Do you like X Factor? So. And how much would you charge for tickets? Oh, reasonable, ten pounds a head. Oh. I could Premier League football match. Yeah. Uh, Fifty thousand people. 
Ten pound oh, each. A million, isn't it? You can make quite a bit of money. Um, tell me more. What's what's your costs? Um, the thirty thousand is all I made just to uh, source the materials, um, build it. And get it on the road. And the running costs? Very cheap. It's solar powered, so it doesn't oh. cost anything. There'd be some legal issues. But we, we know a few judges, don't we? That's what I want to do. I don't really like the sound of it, guys. A quick point to mention, come to think of it, is uh, maybe not so much in terms of a money maker, because this isn't the sort of money that I'm used to making, if you know what I mean. But Are you sure? In terms of wiping out the competition, strategically beheading threats to our companies. Yeah. But what's now, the guarantee that we won't end up on the chopping block? Well, I'd like to see that in writing, that if we were to invest... I mean, we might be able to come to some of Part of the contracts, obviously we, uh, we don't want to be for the chop ourselves, but I wouldn't mind wiping out a few rivals. I'm sorry, Vicky, I'm out. Yeah. Sorry, Vicky, and the, the aroma of lavender and cannabis just doesn't do it for me either. So, um, I could smell the moment you walk through the door. Sorry. Security, see to it that this woman uh, leaves the premises and doesn't touch anything on her way out. Good day. Thank Goodbye. you for your time. I'll speak to you after, okay? Okay. Thank All right. you for your time. Okay, thank you. Get it to you. Come on now, it'd make a lot of money. Up next, we have the greatest of fun. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Thank you for your time. My name's Stefan. Tell us a bit about yourself, Stefan. I served in the Special Forces. Ex-military background, ex-paratrooper, uh, training sergeant. Uh, I'm interested, go on. What, what exactly is it that you're asked? Well, you're I've, written a, I've just written my first book. First book of three. It's a very special book, incredible book. And I believe it will change people's lives. If your heart and your mind is open to it, it will change yours also. I've had very good feedback. Could you give us a flavour, maybe a, a small reading? I can actually yeah. read to you. I could read to you the first page. Would that be, uh, yeah, that would be fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. If not for those that govern with unseeing hearts and minds, with desires of power, Arrogance and desire, deceit and lies, maybe all children would be of abundance and magic, I heard the Shining One say. Oh. Sounds a bit Harry Potter, doesn't it? <laughs> children being abundant with magic. I like J.K. Rowling, come I like back, it. all is forgiven. It's a little bit vague. What, mm. what form does, the, is it they fiction just, or non-fiction? Mm. What's the story? It's based on a true life story, actually. But that particular, uh, it, it's just an opening to extract, stretch one's mind to get one thinking. So, let's cut to the chase. What's it actually about? I tell you what, the book is about. It's about exposing truth and justice or injustice. It's about exposing governments in the world about what's really going on in the world right here and now, out there. It's about telling the true story about what's really going on. What's really going on, eh? Steve, can I ask you one question? Mm, sure. Do you take many drugs? Do I take many drugs? Yeah, it seems a little bit Certainly not. psychedelic. Certainly not. I do, do not take drugs. I right. do not drink. Anymore? <laughs> what? Sounds like there was a bit of a problem there once, maybe. Can you remember the 1960s? 
I think that's enough. <laughs> yeah. Enough from you. Um, Con- conspiracy well, theories are quite a minority it's about market. It's vulnerable people. Well, well, we couldn't find yeah, we, people. We've heard enough. Victims. Yeah. 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 And doors over there, my friend. Yeah, it's not it's quite about, my cup of it's tea. It's about homeless people. Homeless people. Oh, homeless. Oh, it's people not for me. People in one ear people and out the other. Mm. Unbought victims. Well, well Steve, let me let me outline like it. You. Let me outline it for you. Um, I'm out, and I think my two colleagues have stated that they're out. So, without further ado, may you get out. You'll be get very out. sorry. Yeah. Security. Okay, take your hand off. I know you're, you're, way, way, too, out. you're out. way too many drugs back then. <laughs> Oh, I've got better things to be doing. Is there anyone else? Let's come on, or is this that The third one better be a decent investment opportunity. Is there one, I'm going to withdraw yeah. my services. It's We've got a, a couple more coming up. Waste of mm. bloody time. Well, let's see, let's see who's on next thing. Mm. That's some flippin' hippie, I would imagine. Hello. Hello there. Oh. What's your name? Uh, my name's Steve. You look very familiar. We don't actually have a Steve on here, on a, written down on the list. Of, not Weren't you in a minute? Oh, ago. that was, he had grey hair and, oh, yeah. and he yeah. wasn't wearing glasses. Similar oh. taste in clothes, maybe. Yeah, yeah that seems sure. I leave him more reading glasses. Uh, I have to wear glasses. Uh, let's uh, let's just hope enough. you're nothing like the bloke before, because no. he was just a disgrace, oh, I disgusting, know. hippie mess. Yeah, yeah. We, need, we need a serious... I'm sure he hasn't got a good idea like so, me. What did you say your name was? Steve. What's your pitch? What do you? Yeah, I've got a boat. 22 foot motor sailor. Yeah, they put a lot of money into it, a lot of hard work. I've got a 55 foot. It's not compared boat yeah. sizes. So. Well, I, it's my boat, yeah. I've done a lot of work on it. Spent a lot of money on it, a lot of time. Uh, sails, two engines. Brilliant. Really beautiful boat. Where is it moored, Steve? Uh, Chertsey, West London, on okay. the Thames. Nice location. Yeah. So well, basically I want to do some good in the world, I want to make it available to um, homeless people. Yeah, but if they're homeless, oh, really? they're out and out, they won't be able to... I've had a load of shit in my life and I want to do good in the world. Oh, I want to do some real good, you know. This is my gone of work. I want to make this no. today. I'm I want to make this census. boat available. Oh, it needs to make no money, money. Yeah. it's an investment. You How are you going to make profit? Where's your the numbers? Where's the business? the process of setting up a charity. Oh, not what? charity. Uh, we're we're not some... here for charity. It's you, there's a lot of damaged, time. broken people out there that need Did you help. Get they don't on have your any head money. As a child, literally, well, we do you not make, understand? What are you going to gain by helping the homeless? What have you got to gain? Nothing. What's the point? No, no. Are you wearing your wig? Money makes the world go round. Oh, the same. It's the same guy. I told you that. Listen. Why did you not get rid of him? Security. Hey, get off. Your lies and your deceit, arrogance. Okay, your day's all over, mate. Finish. Security. He's wearing a wig. It's Stefan. Don't call us. We'll call you. Thank you. Have to Just one more thing before I go. Oh, security! Yeah, 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 yeah,
Up next, our final contestant. Will Arthur succeed where the others have failed? Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Arthur Delboy Bailey and uh, <coughs> Fly by Night Promotions is what I'd like to offer. We've got an idea for a, a business of um, uh, telesales. Want to uh, invest in a building just like this one. What so, will you be selling, uh, Arthur? There you go, it's PPI. Ah. Kind of protection insurance. Ah, great money spinner. Okay. Uh, the concept is that we see is that a lot of these big companies employ one or two interns. But I've just thought, well, there's a niche in the market, I want to employ all of them. Sounds great. Yeah. Exclusively well, interns. Well, exclusively interns mm. and students. So you're not paying them? No. So how many employees are you going to be paying wages out to? It won't be anybody. Oh, I like that. So Zero we'll wage bill. to work and uh, it's a work experience. And all we want from you is uh, an investment for about half a mil so we can rent a building just like this. So on every floor we can have loads of people all working away, beaving away for 12 hours a day and uh, I think I could even let you have 50% of the profit. How's that sound? Yeah, but won't these people be expecting to get jobs after a Oh, well, year they think that the, uh, their, their role is the next move is upstairs because that's where the boss is. When, uh, in fact, there's no one there. And I, so there's no one on the floor above, there's just more interns. It exactly. sounds like you'd be taking them on under false pretenses. There is actually no work for these people. So this oh. isn't even like a pyramid scheme, mm -hmm. it's more of a sort of breast and nipple there scheme. There you go. And we're in the ivory tower. The exactly. Nipple. It's like work like bees and we're the queen. It sounds a bit immoral, if you don't mind me saying so. Ah, immoral, shamoral. Ex exploiting you know, the youth of today. Ruthless exploitation. Yeah. What do you think? It's horrendously immoral. Scandalous. We love it! What a fantastic business. We're going to make loads of money.